I would be willing to say in four to five years, every educational institution is going to have some sort of one-to-one -one device, whether that's a tablet or a computer or whatever it is. There's going to be an electronic device in the hands of every single student in America very, very soon. This is the first year where every, all the students have the iPads at school. My name is Peggy Lemack and I'm an art teacher at Midi High School. I've been here 20, this is my 22nd year. All their work, they're still doing the same kinds of projects. It just makes it easier that they have at their fingertips all the images in the universe, right? I would look at textbooks before and it would have tons of stuff that I either didn't agree with or had no use for. The textbook I created for the students' uses, it's about the elements and principles of art, which are the building blocks for all projects that they make. I'd say 98% of it's illustrated with student works of art. This way I could make one exactly how I want it for my classes. You can ask anyone. I'm not a big technologically advanced person. It was very user friendly. One of the most important things we realized many years ago, probably seven years ago, was that the, the textbooks that we were using weren't as educationally powerful as the materials the teachers were creating. So we really wanted the teachers to start generating more materials. Day one was probably about seven years ago when we first envisioned the idea of every student having a device in the classroom simply because we thought it was the, the best tool for the students to learn. We have our own version of a, a genius bar. We call it the, the tech counter um, and it's staffed by the tech team which is made up of 20 students who do things that a normal Genius Bar would do, teaching the, the, the other students how to fix something. They also do some basic repairs under the guidance of a couple of our uh, Apple certified technicians. As it stands now, every teacher has every course uh, online, so they take quizzes on there, they post to forums, they upload videos, they look at their course calendar. It's designed to be a way to continue the learning outside the, the walls of the classroom. My name is Leslie Gracio, and I'm a biology teacher at Archbishop Moody High School. Lesson plans have changed having new technology, but I think in a better way. My role has changed in that I put more research onto them, which is really nice, where you know, you can say, okay, now you're going to do this project, this project, go research it. Or that's a really interesting question where I used to have to go look for the answer. I can be like, who can find an answer? Let's look, look for our reliable sources. The sensory neuron is going to send that signal to where? The spinal cord. Okay, so it hits the spinal cord. What neuron is there? Right, let's do the assessment on 1504. They can record uh, live data onto their iPads, which is really nice in science. You can get pH and get temperature, and it's graphed, and they can analyze it, write up their conclusions, and turn in these beautiful lab reports that have pictures from when they did it in class, their graphs, and all their data. So you go data. across and across. They actually were the ones that showed me I could take a picture and insert it into the lab report. So really, them having more knowledge has been beneficial to me because then they can teach me how to use it and then I can integrate in all my classes. Everybody's using the iPad. I mean, teachers have required us to and everybody finds it a lot more useful. I'm uh, Max Alfrink. I'm 16 years old. I go to Archbishop Midi and uh, I'm a sophomore. The majority of my work uh, is on my iPad. I mean, I only use my notebook for when I practice Chinese. But other than that, it's bio note takers on the iPad, essays on the iPad, notes in class on the iPad. I mean, my iPad is really where all my schoolwork is. I feel like teachers are more necessarily using PowerPoints to teach us now rather than just like telling us, straight up telling us the information. They're kind of like, like reading the PowerPoints to us and then like we're taking notes on our iPad and then we're able to go back though and check them at home in case we miss something in class, which is really helpful because then we're not constantly emailing our teachers, okay, so what was this that we learned in class? Like we can go back and check the PowerPoints and check all this. In some cases, the teachers are, are starting to experiment with something called a flipped classroom where they do some of the lecture that would traditionally be done in the classroom at home and then the classroom time is used more for working with the students individually. It's a, it's a different way of working, a different way of, of thinking about creating content and then being assessed on the content. 
take your time is the most important lesson I, I could give anybody. Uh, you know, a lot of schools are looking to, to make a, a, a big splash and say, hey, we're the next iPad school, we have this great device. But the problem is they haven't thought about the educational impact of it. Um, simply putting the device in the hands of students isn't going to get you too much further than you are now. You need to, to take a few years and get your teachers ready, get the whole culture aware of what it means to have this device in the hands of every student. I'm lucky I haven't broken mine yet. It's, it's in great condition. I know a bunch of people that have, you know, <laughs> dropped it and broken it. But that's, you know, that's an issue with Apple products in general.